Thank you guys. Dallas, Texas host WWTLC, as you guys were talking about. And I'm going to break down all of my predictions for this Sunday at the American Airlines Center in Dallas, Texas. Let's start it off with two of the women's matches. You have Carmella and Nikki Bella in a no disqualification match. I'm going to go with Nikki Bella winning. You've seen Carmella time and time and time again continuously get the upper hand on Nikki Bella, but I think this no disqualification match is perfect. Carmella is not the most polished in the ring, but Nikki Bella can go outside and show more physicality, more aggression, and more intensity. Pick up the W for Nikki Bella. The SmackDown Women's Champion is one that I've been going back and forth with. You have the established last kicker of Becky Lynch. You have Alexa Bliss. Who do you pick? Alexa Bliss. I'm going to go with Alexa Bliss. I think she's going to win and become the SmackDown Women's Champion. It's a tables match, guys. Reminds you that she doesn't have to pin the champion. She doesn't have to make the champion submit. So I can see somewhat of an oops. I put her through a table uh, ending of this match, similar to what Big Show and Cody Rhodes did a handful of years ago, and similar to what Sheamus did with John Cena at TLC to become the WWE Champion six years ago. Those are the women's matches. A chairs match. Kalisa versus Baron Corbin. Grab me a pillow and grab me a drink because that's all I care about whenever this match is on TV. But I'm going to go ahead and say Baron Corbin picks up the victory. A chairs match, basically saying we have a chair, we can hit them over the head, we can hit them in the back. Baron Corbin needs to show aggression. Baron Corbin needs to show Daniel Bryan that he doesn't want to be on SmackDown. Make the trade, Raw and SmackDown, Sammy to SmackDown, Baron to Raw. It's going to make it a million times better for both of their careers. Moving on, the new Wyatt Finley. Bray Wyatt and uh, Randy Orton always looks good with that pose. I'm going to go with the new Wyatt family picking up the win. There's a reason why they didn't want American Alpha in this match. There's a reason why Wyatt and Orton weren't originally in that tag team turmoil match a few weeks ago. I think you have to go with Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton. Bray Wyatt finally, finally capturing his first championship in WWE. It's like a stake it out back. That's well overdue. All right, we're going to go on to the Intercontinental Championship ladder match. The Miz versus Dolph Ziggler, which is this being billed as the last encounter between Dolph Ziggler and The Miz. Well, The Miz won the championship on SmackDown Live 900th episode. Why would he drop it three weeks later? Wouldn't make any sense. Go with The Miz. Stick with The Miz. I do think Dolph Ziggler goes on to bigger and potentially better things. But we all know, guys, the Royal Rumbles in January is going to be fast-tracked for a lot of these guys. There's not going to be many storylines. They're all going to get bunched into the Royal Rumble match. So that might ultimately be where Dolph Ziggler ends up. And then you have the main event, the WWE World Championship match between AJ Styles and Dean Ambrose. Tables, ladders, and chairs, oh my. Do you remember that tables, ladders, chairs, and stairs match? Probably not because it was brutal, but with the move that James Ellsworth took off those steel steps, I expect Ellsworth to be a big part of this. I don't want him to be, but it's going to happen, guys. Is it time for James Ellsworth to turn heel and align himself with AJ Styles? Yes. Yes, it's going to happen. Ellsworth getting that contract, securing that contract, doing everything right is now the right time for him to be doing everything wrong. AJ Styles is not dropping the title. A big, big match is going to happen at the Royal Rumble for AJ Styles. And guys, the Royal Rumble's in San Antonio. TLC's in Dallas. I can think of two, maybe three legends from Dallas that are potentially going to be there. What do you think? at Josh Eisenberg 4 on Twitter. Chair Shot Reality all weekend long. More predictions coming up. Also my NXT and 90, and I'm live in studio with Justin to round out the weekend. Don't go anywhere.